Fouls this around the boards, picked up by Jan Kubek. He's got nine assists, but no goals yet this season. And you know they'll probably come in a hurry when he gets one. Weird bounce off his skate, and Jared Chester will collect it, play it off the boards, and back into the neutral zone. But a blue jersey is there to get the puck first, and it's the leading point getter, Josh Holland, who works in behind the defense. Centering play in front, and he created a good opportunity, and that got steered aside. Tigers will slow things down, courtesy of Glenn Fole. The ages wonder, Glenn Fole. Up along the boards to Jan Kubek. He's played some professional hockey in the Czech Republic. He came over, he played some hockey as an import player for the Sydney Bears, and now finds himself residing in South Australia. Played for the Falcons just last year. Boyle tries to lead a man ahead, and Jared Chester intercepts, banks it off the boards, and Morris O'Hanley will be the first Tiger back to collect this. Falcons will get a defensive change on. Sloppy pass along the far boards, and it was almost a turnover in front of the net. Instead, the Tigers will collect. Morris O'Hanley leads Ryan Full ahead. full has got a shot from the slot off the bar and in. There's a dangerous one from Ryan Full. The Tigers have a lead. They cannot give up the middle of the ice as easily as that. They've, they've got to be able to take that away. Ryan Full skating through there is going to score more times than not. Yeah, well, I mean, he is the leading goal scorer for a reason, and I think that just clearly shows it. That's goal number 12, and he had time to look, set, fire, wind, pick his spot, reevaluate his shot, and then choose another spot if he needed Absolutely. to. Absolutely, and again, we've seen another jo another good goal off the rush. Morso Hanley got himself bottled up, his second effort to get himself out. He made a better read the second time out of his own end, skated the puck up the ice, and it led directly to a goal. It's a good result. Uh-oh. I think Morris O'Hanley might be heading to the penalty box as he lifted that puck high and out of play, and I think that he's going to get the gate for a delay of game for two minutes or less. Well, what have you done for me lately? All that good work <laughs> on the goal is right out the window, eh? Yeah, just a, a lob play that goes right over the glass or the mesh and out of play. So the Falcons will have the first agile group power play of the game. It is run time here. There's a few little strategies you can take during that. So around that six minute mark on your screens is when that penalty is going to expire. Tigers still could be a threat here. They've scored a couple shorthanded goals on the season. Matus Trinka will slow it down, and that goes off the side of the net right to Joey McDougall, who fires one back on goal. Trinka had to scamper back in front of the net, and that chips over, and that will just eat valuable time ticking away. Yeah, so they, they had a face-off win in the offensive zone. They gave the puck away, and they just struggled to get it back. When you're on the power play, you've got to outwork the penalty killers. You you can't rely on the fact that it's five on four, so they threw it in an open corner. They, they weren't willing to go in hard to get it, and, and now they've bottled up, and they've, they've wasted about half of it. Draw one by the Falcons. Again, they give it away right in front of the net. Now the Falcons should be able to clear. But Richard stumbles with the puck. But luckily, Quinton Tomlinson, the goal scorer, is right there, who will play it back. And I think that puck just stayed in there, saying they fire a shot in on goal. Glenn Forbes White might have got a piece of that. Wrapped around the boards from Keane. Tomlinson plays it back behind the goal. And Ben Gebert off the board, but not hard enough to get out. And Cinco chips this in back behind the goal. Keen centering play in front. Len Full was right there, and he makes a sure-handed play to send this all the way down. Back to Matus Trinka with 40 seconds to go on the power play. Len Full, another interception, and you can see he's not trying to rush it in there. He's just eating valuable time off that clock. Well, he's been doing this for 40-something years. He knows what to do out there to rag, rag the puck on a penalty kill. Lob pass up and it goes all the way down. This is a good penalty kill from the Tigers. Last week we were having the discussion on the stream about how many, could you measure the amount of time Glenn Full has talked to a referee in days or weeks out of his entire life? <laughs> Politely or impolitely? Oh, a little bit of both. <laughs> Long stretch pass ahead and here's an opportunity for Zach Boyle on the rush and Matus Trinka makes a save while short-handed and one that he had to make and that's going to end the power play opportunity for the Falcons and Politely, it wasn't their best. It wasn't their best. No, they, they have to work a bit harder to keep the puck in their possession. Yeah, I think if um, I was Matos right now, I'd be a little bit frustrated, but I think the Falcons just need to jump on the puck a little bit more, you know, have that authoritative kind of stance out there and, you know, really own that puck. All in all, the Falcons find themselves only down by a goal in this game. So there's still a lot of hockey to go, and one shot ties this thing back up, and we're very early on. Ryan Full, he's buzzing right now. Joey McDougal on the rebound off of... A uh, puck that bounced off Shiansky's skate. 
In behind the goal is Jared Chester. Back to Henry Shiansky. Giveaway in front of the net. Joey McDougal turns, swivels, fires. That gets knocked aside and into the corner. Ryan Fool right there. The Tigers can sense blood. Cinco tries to chip it out, and it does get out of the zone. And Joey McDougal, he's as good as anyone in controlling the puck. He's the first one right there. Turnover as Chester banks it off the far boards, and he'll just throw this in behind the goal. But right there is Greg McNair. McNair up to full. Banks it again off the boards, and now it's a foot race for it. And Brandon Taylor and McNair, who banked it forward, was the first one there, but the puck ends up in between Shiansky's legs. He tries an outlet pass. That connects with nobody, and it goes all the way back for Icy. If I'm the Falcons now, I I'm four and a half minutes to go. I'd actually be okay to get out of this period 2-1. I, I think it's important that they really bottle it up now for the last four minutes. Yeah, I think they can use this intermission, um, you know, smart and, and do something with it and try and recoup a little bit here. You know, maybe they can talk about something at, at the bench that might help them for the second period. I mean, they had a lead, right? They had that goal off of a turnover, and sometimes they come against this Tigers team. Yeah, it's only a 2-1 game. Anything can happen. And there's an opportunity for Cinco, who gets around two different men and just goes all the way back to the Tiger defense. Long pass ahead to Andrew Stapleton. Can't quite hold on to that. O'Hanley up to Jai Sarchich. Off his stick and in the corner for Henry Keane. Keane can't quite clear the zone, and the Tigers getting another chance, and I think there's going to be another penalty call from Bill Newbound down on the ice that might send the Falcons back to the power play. Let's see what the call is as he's going around. He's in the corner. I think Jai Sarchich is getting the gate. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the call was down there. I didn't, I didn't quite catch it in that corner, but... Definitely um, a good opportunity right now for the Falcons to capitalize and, and come back from that last power play and, and try and do something with this one. What are you doing differently on this power play for the Falcons other than their disastrous first one? Trying to move the puck around the outside a bit more. And even if that means skating it, just work your way through some of the pressure. The, the penalty killers will back off if you have the puck strong on your stick. But they need to get the, they need to get the puck in that end first and spend a bit of time down there. Well, already on this agile group, Penalty, or power play rather, for the Falcons. They're already back in their own zone, but a long pass ahead over on the right side for Damon Hode. He was a nice welcome return back to this lineup after missing the start of the season. So as much as the bodies are falling out of the lineup for the Falcons, there's a good inclusion. Long pass ahead, and that might be an icing call. It's waved off, but the Tigers are going to get there first. Again, the Falcons just seem to can't quite seem to control the puck when they need to the most. Back behind the goal, they do create a bit of a turnover. Chip back towards the point. Hode can't hold on to it, and Ryan Full was almost away. It was a good second effort from Hode to hold the line and stop a break going the other way. But here comes Jan Kubak. He stops, tries to center a play, and now the Falcons will go away two on one. Tomlinson works to the left, and Jan Kubak getting back on his horse, knocks the puck into the corner, and he clears it back out in the neutral zone. That was a good defensive play. It's amazing when you create the turnover, uh, how you can find that fifth gear to get back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Solomonov loses control of the puck and with two minutes to go in the period and only 45 seconds left on the power play. The Falcons and almost three minutes of power play time have yet to get themselves set. Yeah, I think they really need to utilize the full ice right now. Like we're seeing them on both sides but before their breakout, they were all, all five of them loaded up on one side. So Off the turnover, Zach Boyle just skates around the back of the board, slides it around the back of the net for Joey McDougal. He's got three Falcons jerseys all around him, and he's just eaten up valuable seconds. And Joey McDougal creates another turnover as Kyle Holland was trying to clear it out. Just better pressure from the Tigers, and the Falcons cannot get set at all, and they turn it over again. Ryan full with space. Out wide, centering play in front, and Tyler Boyle tipped it right to Matush Trinka, who had to make a great save. Zach Boyle, rather, had the shot on net. Yeah, I think that could have been a really good opportunity there. That was a great redirection from Zach. Um, if that had gone top shelf, it would have been a really, really nice goal. But, you know, Matos was there. He kept his uh, eyes on the puck, and he's a great goalie. I think he's really holding it together a little bit for the Falcons right now. That's where you probably are missing someone like uh, Andrew Zoltarov in the lineup on a power play like this. Just be able to slow it down a little bit, yeah. Glenn Full chips this forward. Andrew Stapleton swivels around his man. Back behind the goal for McDougal. McDougal over to Glenn Full. He fakes the shot, fires one in towards the slot. Tyler Boyle banking away at this, and it's Quinton Tomlinson skating away with this. Tomlinson out wide, has Tyler Boyle back checking. He 
flickers this one in, in on net, and it's steered aside from Glenn Forbes-White in the dying seconds of this period. Chipped up into neutral territory. Falcons chip it back in behind the goal, and that might just do it unless we can get a turnover created late, and Keane's gonna try to do exactly just that. Zach Boyle around the boards. They should be able to get it out, and they do. Stapleton with just 10 seconds left. Backhands this around. Not the prettiest of periods, if I'm being frank, but the Tigers are going to have a 2-1 lead. Tomlinson opened the scoring off a turnover. Tyler Boyle scored a goal that slipped through the goalie, and then Ryan Full fired it off to the top of the net. Yeah, so a, a, a couple of golden opportunities were capitalized by the Tigers. Um, again, 2-1 if I'm the Falcons. That's not the worst result in the world, but there is some stuff they're going to have to clean up if they want to keep pushing the Tigers. Yeah, agreed. I think, like I said before, I think Matos is really holding the Falcons in here. They've, Falcons have had a couple of good opportunities, like Tomlinson's goal. You know, he, he really capitalized on that, but, you know, Tigers have had a heck of a lot more shots on the net, so... We'll have to see how the second and third play out. Eric, Eric, and Sharnita back with you after the break. <laughs> 